Here are two methods to add a solid to a finished part. This is a finished part. Select the top face of the part. Create a new sketch in the Tasks menu. Select the Rectangle tool in the toolbar. Click somewhere and drag the mouse. Enter the horizontal dimension and press Tab. Enter the other dimension and press Enter. Right-click to exit the Rectangle tool. Select two opposing vertices and the vertical Y-axis. Holding Control is not needed in FreeCAD 1.0. Click on the Symmetrical Constraint button here. Select the Dimension tool. Click this lower vertex and drag the mouse. Enter a dimension and press Enter. The sketch is fully constrained, so you can exit. Select Pad to create an extrusion. You can change the length of the extrusion. Check Reversed to swap it to the other side. Let's increase the length. It has to go through the part. Uncheck Reversed. Check Symmetric to Plane to extrude in two directions. Material will be added to both sides. Uncheck Symmetric to Plane. Decrease the length and click OK to apply. This is one way to add material to your part. But you are dependent on your base part. Click, hold, shift, and select all base part features. Press Delete to remove and click Yes. Also delete the other base features. Now this sketch floats in thin air. Click the eye icon next to Origin to toggle visibility. The origin planes are now visible. And you see the extrusion is floating. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. Here's another method. Create a new body in the Part Design Workbench. Then create a new sketch. Select the XY plane to sketch on. Select the Rectangle tool. Let's see if you can follow the same steps again. Exit the fully constrained sketch. Click right mouse button on the new body. Select Appearance. Then select Custom Appearance. And click next to Diffuse Color. Select red for example and click OK. Click close. Click close again. Now select the new sketch. 
and select the pad feature. You see it's already red. Increase the length and reverse it. Now make it symmetrical and increase the length. Make it asymmetrical and decrease the length. Click OK to apply. The new solid has been added. Click on the first body. Click the eye icon next to it to toggle visibility. Both objects are independent of each other. You can also merge them together. Select the new body and click Boolean operation. Then click the Add Body button. And select the first body. Click OK to apply. It's one merged solid. The Boolean will appear in the tree. Expand it to see what's inside by clicking the arrow. Press Delete to undo the Boolean operation. Now there are two separate bodies again. Independent features are the best solution. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects. Get commercial access to all my 3D files to sell 3D prints. Thanks for watching. You might find other videos interesting too.